the contestant view came in from the French coach. But here we go into yeah. the second match now. This is going to be a uh, brilliant tech. This is going to be a match that will remind people of what happened in Paris because this is a rerun of the World Championships between Can Atomov from Azerbaijan and Enes Erken from Turkey. Erken, of course, is the current world and European champion. So both have a big experience and uh, there will be a hard match, but uh, we're looking forward to, to hope to see more, more scoring this time. And it's good that uh, Atomov is looking to uh, return to the podium. He already is going to be guaranteed a, at least a silver medal here, and so would be Erkin, of course. And both are looking forward to the World Championships later this year in Bremen, in Germany. But here we go. Four-minute match for the seniors. And what do you think, uh, again, from a tactical point of view, Dominic? Um, what do you know about these fighters? So, uh, they're uh, especially the Turkish one is really complete fighter. He has a very good distance feeling, and uh, it will be very difficult for for uh, Atomov to to get in his distance. But again, we see passivity. Both fighters being very, very cautious. We've talked about the length of the match, four-minute matches as opposed to three-minute matches. And some people have a view that four minutes is actually too long. And it's the first minute, is, uh, there's not a great deal happening. What do you think of that, Dominic? Yes, uh, I think a bit the same. They, they could use it to... So the idea was first that they have more action, they're more scoring, but uh, at the end, uh, in the final, the first thing you don't want to lose. Of course. So, uh, but here we are, three minutes moving into the three minutes part of the match, and still no score. Artkin controlling the centre of the tatami. Atomov just taking a bit of a knock. Referee just going over to check, see that he's okay. Take him off to the side of the tatami. That's where. Uh, the doctor will come and have a check to see how the competitor is. We're not quite sure what his situation is, but I'm sure he's going to be fine to continue in a very short time. See a rerun of the... So it there was a, there was a Jodanzuki yeah. from Arkin that just caught him on the side of the face. With the hand uh, yes. was open. And yeah. of course, open hand techniques to the face are prohibited. But we'll see what, uh, what reaction the judges have. And they, quite rightly, have penalized, warned Arkin for excessive contact. But, interestingly enough, they've also warned Atomov for exaggerating. And that's a, a quite a serious Category 2 offense. Because to exaggerate an injury has put him in a position where he is now in Hansokachui. Which means that if he steps out of the area or holds or wrestles, he's now in a, a very serious position where he could get disqualified. So the only way is to fight well and to, to get the chance to, to win this fight. Can he do it? We're in 2 minutes 41 seconds of the match. There's plenty of time for him to come back into the match. Arkin in blue for Turkey. Current European and world champion. Competing against Atomov from Azerbaijan, Europe, world semi, uh, world silver medalist from 2012 in Paris. Of course, Erkan he can provoke now the the Atomov to to make a jogai or to to hold him, like now. And in a situation where both that. are holding yeah. and uh, and wrestling, they could both be penalised. Of course. It's, it's a negative way of thinking, but Arkin can use that tactic, which will give him a penalty, of course, but it will mean that Atomov would lose the match because he would be given a Hansaku. Let's hope that isn't the case. I'd much rather to see good techniques, good points. That's what we want to see. That's what we want to see, but... The uh, Jodanzuki from Ao. Yeah. No, no. It looked a little, oh, is, it, is it passed to me from this angle? 
Yeah, but three but, referee shows. But three of the judges felt yeah. it was good. So yeah. we may see on the see that technique a little later on a replay. But Arkin for Turkey takes the lead. 1-0. One, One minute twenty-eight seconds left of the match. So now Atomov he, he really have to push more. Good job, Anzuki. Yeah. Fast, high punch coming in from Atomov, but it wasn't good enough to score a point. Didn't receive the favor of the judges. Match is starting to liven up. One minute, five seconds. No, good job, yeah, Anzuki from job, Arkin. Yeah. Pushing his lead forward, 2 0. Oh, we build difficult now. Atomov is, one minute he left, needs a so. bigger score. He needs to either go for Chudan oh, and Chudan he tried, he tried, but too close. Distance was not good enough. Yeah. And again, he cannot afford to hold on and get another penalty because he's already on his last chance in a category two. And as you see, uh, Erkan is, is, pro is provocated that he hold. So he tried. Yes. 38 seconds of the match left. Arkin from Turkey leading 2-0 against Atomov from Azerbaijan in red. Can he come back into the match? Both holding on again. Will the referee stop and penalize or let them fight on? They break and get back into the action. Good job, Anzuki. Oh, there was a fantastic Uramo Ashigeri from Atomov. But Akin put in a Chudanzuki at the moment. At the moment, there is only one red flag showing for Atomov. Now, the issue is there's a contested view from the Azerbaijan coach who wants to see a replay of that technique. Now, if they happened both techniques before Yame, it's possible that the score will be accepted. If, on the other hand, so the, the referee called Yame the before. Same time, so and if the techniques happened at the same time, then it's possible for both to score. The, the punch has gone in, and yeah. then the kick follows. But the issue is, A, was it in time? Two, was it too extensive in, in so far as how hard he hit? Because he did knock Arkin down with that technique. The referees and judges are now scrutinizing the video to decide what the outcome is going to be. No. And the outcome is going to be no score for Akin. That means that his coach now loses that red card so he cannot use it again. But I think it's a correct decision because most certainly Akin's Jodanzuki was in first. Yeah. So Akin, four seconds left of the match. Akin 3-0 leading really Atomov. Very difficult to... Again, Atomov tries very desperately with a high scoring technique. But Jordan Uramawashi but unfortunately, he fell over, so it's poor form and it cannot score. Despite the enthusiastic reaction from the Azerbaijani supporters in the audience, Arkin takes his European title, retains the integrity of a world champion, consoles his partner. Uh, it's, it's a sad situation, but I'm sure Atomov is going to have work to do between now and when he competes again in the world championships in Bremen of course uh, Erkan he was re leading the fight from the beginning and uh, he's uh, very difficult to get yes. his distance and uh, it's, it's, it's a lot of work exactly of very very difficult and it's and it's always sad to see somebody lose and they've tried so hard to win that medal but you can see clearly in the replay yeah. there the, the Joranzuki from Arkin was most definitely first and the Yura Mawashi whilst it was fantastic technique beautiful technique he did fall over afterwards and uh, at, the, at the end there he did fall over and uh, it was no score yeah,